What's up guys? In this video, we are going to implement a JavaScript chart library to get this kind of a graph on our dashboard. This is basically a graph of the user's activities on each day. Okay, so if you see, I have 16 activities on 7th April, I have 13 activities on 6th April, and the graph goes on. For this, we are going to use the chart.js library and we have a view chart.js for the chart.js library which we are going to use. Okay, I am using view 2.0 and you know this version has a 2.x port as well. So if you're working on one, you can use this, otherwise you can follow along and you will get the same experience. So let's dive in. So here we are with a clean slate. You know, if you would have followed my previous videos, then you will know we have stopped here with our info box component. Now, to start with, the first thing which we are going to do is, if you see, it said we need to get these packages. So I have done yarn add view chart and view uh, and chart js so in my terminal i'll just run this okay and as you can see i already have this so you can do it i already have those packages but the next step is to first create our activity graph component okay and have the new component in our app.js so let's go to resources assets js components okay i'll create a folder and in that i'll have two files i'll have activity graph um, dot view then I will have an HTML file and I will also have a JS file which is line chart dot JS so with this done let's get started um, importing the components into our main app So we have imported it and then we're gonna tell view that this is a component with this being the you know tag. With this done, we would obviously need to add that component in our dashboard. So let's place all the required information. We have a template tag. And then this will be activity.html, sorry, activity graph. Okay, and then I have a script tag. Um, nothing in here. And for now, we can keep the line chart as it is in our dashboard. We have the info boxes, we have the messages. How is it? This is the first row. Then I have a message. Why don't we create a new row which is like this? Okay. And in this, we'll have. All right. We have everything in place. Yes, there are no errors. So, graph is working. We can see the test coming in. The hello world is here, which is part of this message. Okay, we can get rid of that. And now let's quickly set up some of the you know, dummy data to first get the graph. So the first thing is I'm going to import, sorry, in this, we are going to import line chart from line chart.js. Okay, this is how our JS file will come into the picture. Okay. And in here, 
we will say that we are going to use a component which is we will name it line chart and we will use line chart for this okay and that's about it in terms of the script now let's quickly have some decorations in our HTML paste the code and then I'll explain you what it is so we have this wrapper then I added this box which is a typical admin LTE component activity data and here we are rendering our line chart even now we will have nothing in our dashboard because we haven't defined anything in the render component which is this this is sorry this line chart is the actual javascript file where all the logic for the data will come in so let's quickly set it up we'll import line from our view chart js wrapper let's see i don't have it in my package.json yeah and that's the reason it's not taking it so why don't we do one thing in my terminal i'll come here and run this so things should be in place and now I should have this all right this is working export default and then we will do line dot extend this is how we will be extending the you know line which we are importing and in here mounted will first render we'll use the render chart function and this will pass this object we have labels which is an array okay these are the labels and then we have something called data sets this is an array as well and in this we will have an object where label will be my activities we can set a background color okay everything is there in the documentation and the last one is data okay this is where we need to put all the values so i have one two three four five six so let's put six values to it and let's say I have 40 39 31 11 45 and 50 okay and additionally so this is my data sets and what is it okay that's it it's detecting a typo that's fine i don't i can ignore it and then in here i'll pass two more things responsive is true and maintain aspect ratios we can keep it true false whatever is you know your preference if you want to see so let's see where is our line okay so these are the options and if you see we have a lot of options in here so this is the background color which i had set okay and yeah and this is what we have done so we have the labels we did the data sets okay and this is the data so you can go through the you know, documentation of charges and you can pretty much add all the things in the port so that's how we have done it as well in here in our mounted function and now let's see yeah we have our first graph the color looks a little strange so what is the color which we have set hmm that's strange 
okay pick a backdrop color which should ideally be background color is this red color and now we have this red graph so you know so far we have implemented the chart.js library and we have a you know, hard coded data set to it and in the subsequent videos we are going to get the data from our database which is actually what we want to do thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to share the videos on social networking websites and yeah subscribe to my channel to keep updated